Welcome to the Agent Program Initiate. I'll be waiting for you inside. Follow the lights, please. Majestic, isn't it? I'm Diana. I'll take you to your quarters. Someone likes to keep secrets. Secrets are our stock and trade. Besides, from what I hear, you have a few of your own. I'm not like you, in case you're wondering. I'm in the Handler program. Agents and handlers work in unity. You know the expression, know your enemy? Well, that part is my job. Knowing your enemy is only half the victory. I know. You also need to know yourself. I'm working on it. I read your case file. Impressive work. Hardly textbook, but I suppose field work never is. Tell me, what did it feel like, taking lives? Random. Disordered. Is that why you came here? Why you let us test you? Maybe I'm not the only one being tested. Well, we are here. Basic training starts at 0600 hours. I should leave you to prepare. Are you sure about this? I am. There are no second chances, Miss Burnwood. Not here. I choose him. May I inquire why? A blank slate? Antisocial? Apathetic and unresponsive? No doubt the boy shows promise, but... Perhaps I see possibility where others see limitation. Isn't that what a handler does, sir? We'll see. Anyone can kill Miss Burnwood. He still remembers nothing? If he does, he's not sharing. We will check up on his story. The hospital in Romania. In the meantime, keep him under close watch. Welcome to Advanced Mission Training. This operation originally took place in Sydney. The target was Calvin Ritter, infamous cat burglar, also known as the Sparrow. You will need to infiltrate the yacht, isolate and eliminate your target and exfiltrate, all without arousing suspicion. And remember, as an ICA agent, you are the most dangerous person in any room. But blunt force will get you nowhere in this business. And a true assassin never calls attention to himself. Good luck, Initiate. As previous tests have established, you exhibit an unusual level of enhanced sensory perception. Use your instinct now to sense the position and movement of people around you, and identify your target. Yeah, you heard him. There, there, that's not gonna work. What is that outfit? As suspected, anyway, security not won't allow you on board in your current outfit. We should avoid confrontation and look for another way in. Hmm, that mechanic is in your way. Sneak up and subdue him quietly. You put on his clothes. <laughs> That's a first. Might just work, though. People do tend to see uniforms, not faces. Be cautious, though. Some people are more observant than others. Not bad, Initiate. Right. Now for the tricky part. Start by locating your target. Intel suggests he's around the bar area. Gonna leave a mark. Good thing we have insurance. The target's private deck. Now we're getting somewhere. Ah, but according to Intel, Ritter is another enforcer who picks his own cabin crew. So tread carefully. You're the finest thief the world has ever seen. But things are changing. This is the universe's way of The target will spot you if you get too close. To eavesdrop on his conversation, try and find a way to blend in. Telling you to quit, to get 
out of the game while you still can. The sparrow can already. Die. You're not Body. a super blending in, I see. Do well done, initiate. <laughs> not with that attitude, they don't. Mr. Norfolk, so good of you to fly down. Can I offer you a drink? Oh, no thank you. No, uh, not before six. My wife is very insistent about that rule. My sympathies. So, excellent timing. I just had the computer set up in my office. Shall we? Yes, please, uh, lead the way. Nice impression. If we win, you can fix me a drink. Anyway, sounds like Ritter is about to have a private meeting with the gentleman in white. This could be useful. Wow, so you got the blueprints. Most impressive. People get what they pay for, Mr. Norfolk, and you paid for the best. Here, I'll pull the files for you. Not my usual scene technology. Most of my clients are art collectors. So what is it anyway? Some type of reactor? Well, uh, not just a reactor, Mr. Ritter. It's more of Hold a revolution. On. Fifty years ahead of its time, maybe even more, maybe seventy-five or a hundred. I, I don't mean to boast, but whoever makes it to market first with this reactor will become the king of... Well, I'm rooting for you. Now is your chance. Use your silent pistol or the client will notice. Give me a second. Maybe you're... Your target is down. Now head calmly towards an exit. Well, Mr. Ritter, I, I have to tell you, I, I had you pegged as a much more organized person. So I... Mr. Ritter. The red car marks your exfiltration oh, point. Simply push the button and you're in the clear. Advanced mission training complete. And may I say, elegantly done, Initiate. I guess my hunch was right about you. I look forward to the final test. How did you know? I told you he had talent. His stats are off the charts. Such skills and reflexes. They could only be the result of previous training. Power like that, with no moral restraint. He could be dangerous. I thought that was rather the point, sir. All agents have weak spots, Miss Burnwood. Pressure points to keep them in check. But this one... <sighs> Perhaps it would be better to just... Give me a chance, sir. Give him a chance. I will take full responsibility. Very well. It's your show. I just got word. Romania was a dead end. You're saying that he lied? Place is real enough. Deserted. But we found no trace that your man was ever there. Or anyone else, for that matter. Someone erased his steps. Hmm. We'll keep digging, of course. But frankly, it's as if the Earth just spat him out. Are you still determined? Does it matter? I was told there'd be no second chances. Don't believe everything you hear, Miss Burnwood. My decision stands. Very well. I'll be watching. The final test is based on an authentic 1979 mission. The high point of training Director Soda's career as an active agent. The target was Jasper Knight, a famous US chess master exposed as a Soviet spy. Soda's caught up with Knight at a military airfield in Cuba and eliminated him against all odds. This will be your objective as well. Now listen carefully. ICA exams aren't normally this difficult. Not only was the airfield a virtual fortress, but he even added additional guards. Sodas wants you to fail. He considers you a threat, and this way, your unfortunate exit from the program won't raise any eyebrows. Well, if he thinks we're bowing out, 
He is sorely mistaken. Good luck, Initiate. Did you print out the safety protocol for the jet? Eh, it's on the clipboard. Look, do you really have to do this? All things considered. We're putting a pasty-faced egghead inside a Mach 3 fighter jet. Yeah, I kind of think we do. <sighs> I get it, I get it. Safety first and all that. I don't care which one of you does it, it's mandatory. Just tick the box and get it done. Right, now to set the trap. The ejector seat mechanism has been dis Well done, Initiate. I dare say this is an accident waiting to happen. Jesper Knight, we gotta go over the safety protocol. Follow me, please. Ugh. Must we really? Is it dangerous? Well, it must be, mustn't it? Why else would there be a safety protocol? I'm not crazy about airplanes. Is it going to do that thing where it flips on its head? I don't like that one bit. Not one bit. Don't worry. You're in good hands. Um... This way, So please. are we doing this or what? Hello? You! Grease monkey! What's the hold up? Unbelievable! Mr. Knight, we did some readjustments to the jet, and we'll need to do another safety check. <sighs> Is this strictly necessary? Oh... Very well. Okay, Mr. Knight. Climb in the cockpit, please. Uh, all right. Easy. One, one step at a time. Step one. Strap yourself in. In. Step two, locate the ejector seat handle. Uh, yes, we found it. Step three, pull the ejector seat handle. Uh, right. Here it goes. Pull. Get down. You did it. Now head towards an exit. Oh my god, did that just happen? That shit was definitely not part of the plan.
Congratulations, Agent. You are cleared for field duty. I hope you know what you just did. The chopper leaves at dawn. Now get out of my sight. So what happens now? You go back into the world, disappear, stay on your own and on the move. When we need you, we will contact you. And so does. He played his hand, and he lost. He cannot touch us now. <laughs> Still, I can't believe we beat him at his own game. If you know your enemy. <laughs> Quite right. I should tell you, the trail went dead after Romania. Our team found no records of any kind, no name. Nothing. I think they called me 47. That's not a name. So make it one. All right. Agent 47. Good evening, 47. Your destination is the Paris Fashion Show by Sanguine, one of Europe's leading couture brands. Your targets are Sanguine owner Viktor Novikov, a former oligarch turned fashion mogul, and his partner Dahlia Margolis, a retired supermodel, an iconic power couple on the global fashion scene, and two of the most dangerous people in the world. Novikov and Margolis are in fact the ringleaders of Iago, an enigmatic spy ring that deals in the global elite's most valuable secrets. Unscrupulous and opportunistic, Iago has caused disastrous security leaks all over the globe. When Crimean separatists caused a deadly meltdown at the Odessa nuclear power plant, Iago gave them access to the plant's security network. And when the Delgado drug cartel shot down the plane of President Hernandez and his family, Iago provided the classified flight plans. Now Novikov and Mogolis have obtained a knock list of British undercover agents, which they plan to sell at a secret Iago auction during the Sanguine show. So our client, MI6, need us to stop the ringleaders before the knock list ends up in the wrong hands. The Sanguine show will be swarming with security, and Viktor Novikov will be the focus of everyone's attention. But despite his posturing, he is merely the money man. The real target is Dahlia Mogolis. Beautiful and brilliant, she is a master manipulator and the true brains behind Iago. Two targets, a highly public event. At first glance, an impossible task. Then again, 
I do know how you love a challenge. I will leave you to prepare. Welcome to Paris 47. The show is just about to start. This is the red carpet event of the season, and the guest list is a veritable who's who of the global fashion elite. You will find Viktor Novikov basking in the spotlight, while Dalia Margolis hosts the heavily guarded auction on the second floor for a group of Iago's top customers. Now, event security will keep a watchful eye on any suspicious activity, but I trust your timeless look shall fit right in. Good luck, 47. Make it big, bold, and impossible to ignore. In the new point, the head designer to Jack and Zeno at the house, the night show is really known as... Yes, sir. Good evening, sir. Welcome to San Quentin. Oh, I'm sorry. Viktor Novikov's favorite drink is a rather obscure cocktail known as a bare knuckle boxer. The recipe, however, has been misplaced in the basement. Sounds like a chance opportunity to get on Novikov's good side. Victor Novikov, head of Sanguine and ringleader of Iago. Quite like nice. You know you Coming right up, Mr. Novikov. Finally, professional. Glad I hired one. Dahlia Margolis. Man, I wish I had that jaw. <laughs> Stop, you look fine. I know I look fine, but he's like a like a Greek god or something. You know? I can't believe he's actually here, you know, like in the same room as us. Helmut Kruger's been my role model since college. Well, so, if he kisses your hand, you yeah, I saw you. According to our intel, Helmut Bless Kruger you. is friendly with Dahlia Margolis. Oh, what can I say? I suspect that Iago uses fashion models to infiltrate the lives of the rich and powerful, and Kruger is likely one of their spies. His face paint conveniently obscures his features, and the two of you already share a striking resemblance. Helmut Kruger? Who do you think you are? 
Keep those hands behind your head. Down on your knees. I said down on your knees. Dahlia, helmet here. Remind me again, where were we supposed to meet? Second floor, Voltaire Suite, next to the auction. Got it. You want me to drop by now, or...? No, no, it's essential that you walk the runway. Do the job, and come see me right away. As you make your bed! Oh, so you must hi go. Helmut, it's me! Remember the time... Mr. Kruger, need a touch-up, I see. No problem, just sit back and relax. We won't take a second. Appreciate it. Thanks, Mr. Kruger. Break a leg. Accept my offer? I'm in. What's the job? Straight to the point. I like it. As it happens, I have the perfect assignment for you. Jessica Highmore. Highmore Consulting. The very same. That's why I wanted you in the show. So Jessica would notice you. Now, I want you to go to New York. Seek out Jessica and... Do what you do best. The girl is bright, young, beautiful, and should be right up your alley. And yet she's not the mark. My, you do catch on fast. No, that would be her father, CEO John Highmore. Jessica is your way in. Befriend him, get his trust. Highmore Consulting is planning a merger. I want to know with whom and at what price. All right. Consider it done. And that's for you. Keep it on you at all times. Hmm, last resort. Cyanide. Good choice. <sighs> We've got trouble. Both targets are down. Great work. Now head towards an exit.
How was Moscow? Kamarov is gone. I set him up as a Langley spy. It's quite the scandal at the FSB. His death will not be investigated. Your turn. Very well. The secrets of the global elite. Five years of work. Everything we've collected. This thing makes WikiLeaks look like a gossip rag. The pen beats the sword, huh? I have found that whoever wields the sword decides who holds the pen. Smile, Victor. Your reputation is safe. Now run along. I'm sure you have pretty dresses to attend to. Victor. Good luck with the show. I have a feeling it's going to be the one you'll be remembered for. Good morning, 47. Your destination is the coastal town of Sapienza, also known as the jewel of the Amalfi Coast. Your target is a former client of ours, Silvio Caruso, a brilliant but troubled bioengineer employed by the Ether Biotech Corporation. Renowned for his early stem cell research, Caruso is now reportedly working on a far more disturbing project, a DNA-specific virus able to infect anyone anywhere in the world. Imagine a bullet fired in any direction, passing through countless bodies without inflicting harm, invisible and undetectable until it strikes its target. A world of armchair assassins killing with impunity. This is what awaits us, unless Caruso is stopped. Our client, one of Ether's major private stockholders, wants the project cancelled on ethical grounds, but without destroying the company in the process. She has asked us to eliminate Silvio Caruso and destroy the yet unfinished virus prototype. You will also need to deal with Caruso's lab head, Francesca DeSantis, a high-level Ether employee and cutthroat corporate climber who holds intimate knowledge of Caruso's research and could potentially carry on in his place. This is no ordinary contract, 47. Caruso's virus is a serious threat to our craft and trade, not to mention our core ideals. So failure is not an option. I'll leave you to prepare. Welcome to Sapienza 47. Silvio Caruso's family home is right across the square. The bioengineer suffers from acute travel phobia, so the Ether Corporation has installed a state-of-the-art field laboratory somewhere below ground. Expect security levels to rise as you get closer to the virus. Good luck, 47. of Isabella Caruso's death. Silvio Caruso will be visiting her grave and has ordered a fresh bouquet of flowers. His visit would be a good time to catch him alone. That is, provided the flowers ever arrive. Yeah, later. Recommendation, and the two have yet to meet. 
Could be a convenient way to infiltrate the mansion. FYI, according to our research, Chef Morcello has been trying to replicate Isabella Caruso's famous home cooking, but Silvio Caruso is not impressed. I suggest you give him a helping hand. Target down. Next up, Francesca DeSantis. No, no, no! Please! Someone help! Oh, DeSantis has been hit! It's not gonna make it! Two targets down. Now destroy the virus. This field lab. You made it. The virus prototype will be close by. Look for some type of quarantine unit. prototype from spreading. Entering without a hazmat suit is sure to be lethal. The air purification system is able to clear the toxin, but the controls are only operated by senior lab personnel. Entering the ether lab requires a key card and a uniform. Luckily, it seems both are within reach. Dangerous compound. One dangerous compound. Processing. Have sample incompatible. You there! Drop the weapon! No sudden movements, miss. Keep it cool, jackass. I don't. He's gone! On me! On me! Where he is, go get him. He's not there, repeat, he's not there. Ether security is in the dark about the incident. A few at the company knew about the virus. Not even the board. Must have been someone at the lab. 
I understand. I'll get to the bottom of this. <sighs> Boss is unhappy. I followed you from Italy. I guess when you're invisible, you stop looking over your shoulder. You did this. Iago exposed you. I see I did the heavy lifting. I just pulled some strings. Yeah, you mind. How do you expect... I play dirty. That's how you defeat a stronger opponent. You strike from behind. Now give me the key. You have a family? Trust me, if there's a weakness, Providence will find it. I'll take my chances. The key. Fine. Won't do you much good. It's funny. Cobb said the same thing. Thank you, messenger. Don't. I just killed you. Then we're even. Good afternoon, 47. Your destination is Marrakesh, Morocco, where civil riots are looming. Your targets are private banker Klaus Strandberg and army general Reza Zidane. Two of the conspirators in a sinister plot to overthrow Morocco's fragile government. Strandberg, a former bank CEO who stole billions of dollars worth of savings from the Moroccan people, was facing trial for investment fraud. But early this morning, a band of heavily armed mercenaries freed Strandberg from his prison transport, resulting in the death of several police officers. Strandberg now takes refuge at his native Swedish consulate, in front of which crowds of angry protesters have gathered, demanding his handover to Moroccan authorities. We believe General Zaydan orchestrated Strandberg's escape to infuriate the public and spark nationwide riots, allowing Zaydan to impose martial law. Operating out of a field HQ at a nearby abandoned school, he will no doubt use the riots to depict the Rabat government as weak and inept, and persuade the general staff to support a fully-fledged military coup in the name of national security. Our client, building contractor Hamilton Lowe, who stands to lose a fortune in government contracts, has hired us to prevent the coup d'etat. To do so, you need to paralyze Zidane's rebel forces and prevent the riots from escalating further, hence the double contract. This is quite the political powder cake, 47, so be careful. The fate of a nation is at stake. I will leave you to prepare. Welcome to Marrakesh, 47. The situation grows more tense by the minute. The consulate is under lockdown. But the protests are only a stone throw away from full-blown riots, and Zaydan won't hesitate to unleash his troops. So whatever you're planning, time is of the essence. Good luck, 47. Ah, Mr. White. Oh, hey, uh, sorry. How's your father? Doing well, thanks for asking. He's upstairs right now working on this novel of his, some kind of political thriller, I think. You know, airport lit. Oh, that's nice. So he doesn't miss the old school? Well, he was headmaster for 30 years, and he still carries around the master key. You know, the one that fits all the locks? He doesn't seem to be able to park with the damn thing, but... That's nostalgia for you. Well, maybe now he'll be a famous... The old headmaster of the school Zaydan is using as his field HQ lives right above the carpet shop. According to his son, he kept the school's master key out of nostalgia. Supposedly, this opens any lock in the building. General Zayden keeps coming down here to check on the prisoner. I hear they were close, so what'd he do, poor bastard? The way I heard it, his brother was one of the policemen who got killed when the Mercs attacked Strandberg's prison transport this morning. So he, uh, he got cold feet and tried to blow the lid on the whole operation. Uh, 
Not smart, but uh, pretty human. I'm just glad I wasn't picked for the firing squad. I hear you. That is General Reza Zaydan, Keeper of the Peace. Target down. Move on to Klaus Strandberg. Ah, uh, uh, I'm sorry. Ha, huh. you hit the nail on the head. Oh, that was disrespectful. I'm, uh, I'm very sorry. <laughs> Who'd you have to salute to get this post? Not bad, huh? I figure since no one knows about the escape tunnel, this is the easiest gig in town. I mean, all we gotta do is... Oh, shit! What? Shit! I forgot to leave the all-access keycard in the parking garage. Oh, you kidding? Uh, I need to get back there before XO tears me a new one. All, all right, I'll hold down the fort. Take the tunnel, it's way faster. Yeah, yeah. You made it. Most impressive, 47. Now to locate Klaus Strandberg. That is Klaus Strandberg, most wanted man in Morocco. At hey! Oh, Jesus! Hold it right there! I see him, right there! Compromised, but I I don't understand. There is no sign of forced entry, no alarms, nothing. One of my people has gone missing in Johannesburg. A key bearer. I wish I'd been informed. Still, the system demands two keys, and the rest are all accounted for. Except for your late predecessors. Comp? But his plane went down over the Pacific. It was an accident. Such was the conclusion at the time. Yes. Die, Mr. Fannin. Happens all the time, even to us. It seems like a conspiracy. Probably isn't. And yet, the failed coup in Morocco, the ether virus. Someone knows about us. There was a pattern, and I failed to see it. Providence is under attack. How much was there? Money. <laughs> Not money, Mr. Fennin. Information on all of our assets and operatives. Like you. Dig a trench, Director. And make it a deep one. Because none of you are safe anymore. Good morning.
morning, 47. Your destination is the Himapan Luxury Hotel Resort on the Chow Praia River, just outside Bangkok. Your main target is Jordan Cross, the lead singer of The Class, a renowned indie rock outfit recording their highly anticipated sophomore album. But this millennial poster boy harbors a dark secret. One year ago, promising young actress Hannah Highmore fell to her death from Cross's penthouse loft in Dumbo, New York. According to the police, Miss Highmore's death was a tragic accident, but her parents remain unconvinced. They firmly believe that Cross murdered Hannah and only escaped justice due to the power and influence of his father, billionaire media mogul Thomas Cross. A secondary target, Ken Morgan, corporate fixer and attorney to the Cross family, is also staying at the hotel. Cunning and unscrupulous, Morgan was a key agent in the cover-up of Hannah Highmore's murder and Jordan Cross's subsequent acquittal. The Highmores understandably want retribution, and while the system may be powerless, ICA is anything but. I will leave you to prepare. Welcome to Bangkok, 47. Ken Morgan has booked the Queen Suite, but is yet to check in. You will find him in and around the restaurant. Oddly enough, Jordan Cross seems completely unaware of his presence. Cross and the class have set up a recording studio in the Emperor's Suite on the third floor. Private security around Cross and his entourage is highly capable. Still, I am sure you can find your way into his inner circle. After all, today is Jordan Cross's 27th birthday. The age when rock stars die. Good luck, 47. So, I want to get that package for Wes, but reception says one of our guys picked it up an hour ago. Eh, uh, must have been Julian. <laughs> yeah, he's with that actress again, Jackie Carrington. Saw him sneak up to her room earlier, lucky bastard. Damn it. I was kind of hoping the package had gone lost. I mean, I know Wes Liston is a sucker for all things vintage, but brains an empty tone. Eh, yeah, says it's the best vocal mic of the 60s. So, producer Wes Liston has ordered a vintage Branson MD2 vocal mic. This rare model was removed from the market in the 1960s after causing a number of electric shock fatalities. Apparently, a production defect makes the MD2 short circuit at high voltages. Sounds promising. I suggest you track down the crewman who picked up the microphone. According to his colleagues, this Julian is romantically involved with Jackie Carrington, a former sitcom star who stays in room 207. So you're across all the hills and swath of real estate in the Bangkok area. The Hemipan is only one of them. I thought Thomas Cross was a media mogul. Ah, these multinationals. The best man, prestige. They own a football team, I think. It dies the way I hear it. Thomas Cross is a total record. Acrophobia. Uh, I think just lean old bear on it. He bought this island off the coast of uh, Costa Rica, and supposedly it's like impossible to dock, so you have to get there by plane. And they say you got more surveillance than the freaking Vatican. And the security court of peace. Are you trying to shoot at the city? Whoa, whoa, relax, Chief. I got it covered, okay? Besides, even at very large doses, this compound, it's not lethal for humans. I mean, okay, yeah, sure, it'd knock you out for a bit, and I, yeah, I'd give you a headache, probably, but, uh, I mean, that's about it. Still, imagine the lawsuits. Whoa, not gonna happen, Chief. Believe it or not, I've done this before. Well? You're no quitter. I've got to give you that. Look, I can fix this. I'm homing in a problem. I just gotta... Damn it! Yeah. Are you sure you don't want a ride home? It's not about that. He killed his girlfriend. There's his guest. Big shot lawyer fella up in the Queen Suite. He's offered to buy it. This, this piece of crap for like an obscene amount of money. I just gotta get the engine running. A guest wants to buy your crummy tuk -tuk. Ken Morgan wants to purchase his aging tuk tuk as a Tourist, souvenir. Right? <laughs> Unfortunately for him, he can't get the engine working. Well, you're good at fixing things, 47. I suggest you give the gardener a helping hand. This could be excellent bait. What am I doing wrong? 
By the way, good show, forty-seven. It's time to close the deal. He's ever set foot here. Some kind of immediate. <sighs> and now to deliver Mr. Morgan the good news. <laughs> Go down. Now on to Jordan Cross. Yeah. Oh, they are there. Oh my god! I'm alive! I'm alive! short version, darling. Nobody gets in or out except for VIPs and crew. No hotel staff, security, or guest, no matter how chubby with the band and or pregnant they might claim to be. Kitchen staff is the sole exception. Oh, and do try to keep quiet while the band is in session. Jordan is uh, sensitive today. Any other questions, ask the internet. You got a problem, sir? You move around like somebody can That is Jordan Cross, revered and reviled in right. equal measures. Hi there. How you doing? Hey, Quentin left without his Ludwig Tom, so find his keepers or. Hey there. Ready? Hey man, those cables. I'm running. Uh, I mean, they look and sound the track, like cheap ass cables. Yeah, I lost it. I don't know. It's, it's not me. All right, it's you or something else. Shit. I don't know that guy. No worries, Jordan. Yeah. Why don't you take five? No, go grab something to drink. It'll loosen up your throat. You with the crew? Okay, cool, man. Okay, yeah, uh, that was... Okay, let's hear it. Yeah, it's just not what I had in mind, Heidi. Uh, no, what you had West in mind. Westmart Branson, MD2. Right. Yep, yep. Are you gonna also known as Old now? Sparky. Do I look like a bloody right? backing band? This again. Look, I'm the songwriter, and I expect you to respect my vision. Did you even listen to the demo? Feel free to jump in any time, Wes. Oh, I liked it. You could really sense the, the bottled up rage. Of course you liked it. You're in the 90s, man. Look, this is my song, Heidi. So just play it like the demo. It's not too much to ask. So much attitude. Yeah. It's always someone else, huh, Jordan? Just like when. Okay, just moving on. And a handful of people in the world will ever notice it. As I say, on the cold. Anyway, it's safe to come when you know I'm there. I could just punch him. Crank the bolt. Honestly, I don't know if I can do Where's Jordan's base? I like your idea, love. So will he. Let's just do a few takes. Figure out the right sound. We can sort through the takes later. Sure, Wes. Why the hell not? Ready? Hey, this doesn't sound right. I'm running. Change the guitar strings or what? Wes. I have that Branson MD2 mic you ordered. Sweet. Hey, Swap it for the one in the booth, yeah? Strap. Can't wait to test White this baby one. out. What 
What's up with this sneak? Both targets down. Now head towards an exit. stripped clean within hours of the kidnapping. Someone wanted the son dead to lure out the father. Someone smart enough to stay in the shadows while we did the wet work, and the Highmores picked up the check. A shadow client. Someone got rich. The contract was just. That was a sound problem. I know you don't care about politics, 47. But ICA is neutral, or as has been. Can't allow ourselves to be manipulated. Besides... It's happened before. Italy. Morocco. Paris. All our clients got their intel the same way. Anonymous tips from a hidden source. Each contract perfectly legit, yet part of a grander design. see the pattern. Somebody does. The board has asked us to chase down this shadow client, and our analysts are closing in as we speak. I know that tone. Someone's playing a game, 47. The question is, against whom? on the shadow client. ICA White Hats have traced the anonymous data received by our clients to one Olivia Hall, brilliant young hacktivist and suspect in a dozen cases of cyber vandalism. Using onion routing with state-of-the-art encryption, Hall went to a lot of trouble to stay untraceable. She is good, but we are better. Her digital trail has led us to a remote farm in Colorado, where satellite footage has revealed what appears to be the training camp for a private militia, led by an already registered target, Sean Rose, Australian environmental terrorist and explosives expert wanted for a series of public bombings. Rose was spotted near the scene of Thomas Cross's kidnapping, which makes him our prime suspect for the shadow client. Spurred by Eric Soders, the ICA board of directors has asked us to infiltrate the farm and eliminate Sean Rose, along with three other prominent militia members. Ezra Berg, retired Mossad interrogator. Penelope Graves, former Interpol anti-terror analyst, and finally, Maya Parvati, former assassin and gun runner for the Tamil Tigers. I'll be honest with you, 47. I consider Eric Soda's reasoning hasty and ill-advised. 
point out we cannot go against the wishes of the board, but we can conduct our own investigation. Whether a direct threat to the ICA or not, we need to know the Shadow Client's true agenda. I will leave you to prepare. Welcome to Colorado, 47. The militia has taken up HQ at an old apricot farm and appear to be training for a series of coordinated strikes, ranging from cyber attacks to full-blown guerrilla warfare. The Shadow Client appears to unite specialists and radicals from all over the map. Mercenaries and terrorists, hackers and spies joined by an unknown common cause. Satellite scans indicate that the command room is below ground inside an old tornado shelter. Only Rose appears to have access, however, so to get inside, you will need to get creative. This environment is hostile and highly alert, so tread carefully. Good luck, 47. Ezra Berg, legendary Mossad operative who specializes in chemical interrogation techniques, is here at the compound to interrogate a prisoner. My notes indicate he's set up a makeshift drug lab in a garage, and it looks like he's spending a lot of his time in the basement. Could be an opportunity there, 47. That is Maya Parvati, Sri Lankan assassin turned pirate, turned insurgent. Well, well, our very own punching bag. Any broken bones? Wounded pride, that's all. Good to hear. All right, head over to the briefing area. We'll resume in a moment. by heart. But in case amnesia has set in, here's the sequence. Advance to the car with haste. Eliminate the passengers. Retrieve the briefcase. Extract. Got that? And remember, speed and accuracy is the name of the game. All right. Now go pick up your weapons and get in position. Move out. Rose. Parvati, please proceed. Pretend the real man. Not a problem. All right, let's go again. On your marks. Ready. Set. Execute. <laughs>
overall performance was passable. Good speed and accuracy, but coordination needs to improve. The point is to build up muscle memory. A perfect sequence of synchronized motion. You need to be able to pull this off sleeping. Passable? Your point man was spectacular. He'd make an excellent assassin. The rest of the- I don't know you! Parvati won't know what hit her. So what's this I hear about a training accident? That would be Burgess, the sharpshooter. Point man in the Mexico operation? Huh, is that by a ram or something? Nicely done, 47. Two flies with one swat. Maya Parvati is down. Good work. That is Ezra Berg, former Mossad interrogator. His services are in demand at the moment. Ezra Berg has been eliminated. Good work, 47. It's improvised glory. That's all targets taken care of, 47. Now gain access to the tornado shelter. The plot thickens. Someone left in a hurry. Sean Rose was not the shadow client. That much is clear. Whoever commands the militia, they got out just in time. Look around, 47. We're getting closer. Some kind of network. Power players. From all sectors. Familiar faces, too. Thomas Cross. Klaus Strandberg. Ether. And that's missing banker Eugene Cobb. Well, well. There's a name. Providence. What? No. No, it can't be. The Hidden Hand. Thought they were a myth. A hypothesis, nothing more. The idea that a small cabal of kingmakers, controlling enough corporate and political leaders, could effectively run the world in secret. Maybe not so hypothetical. Keep looking, 47. We need full disclosure. Someone's done their homework. Look how far it dates back. Hayamoto. Beldingford, Delvade, the Shadow Client has been tracking you for decades. Now how is that possible? It isn't. Every one of those missions were branded as unsolved or accidents. He must have been looking for a pattern, a certain M.O., which would mean... He knows me. Well, at least this shortens the list. Found something. So does. But that would mean Providence has infiltrated ICA. And Eric Sodas is their operative. Bastard! It all fits. He was the one who persuaded the rest of the ICA board to greenlight this operation. This changes everything. Get out, 47. We got what we came for. What about the Shadow Client? He is no longer our primary concern. ICA has been compromised. I always wondered if Providence was real, but I never actually... I will need to confer with the board, but mark my words, 47. This will have consequences. Rose is gone. It was me, wasn't it? They tracked me. I don't believe it. I took every precaution. Rose knew the risks. They all do. You did well, Olivia. I am proud of you. Now listen. The ICA knows about you. They kept you alive because they needed you, and now they don't. We won't talk again. 
Not until the storm is over. I don't like it. This man you know what he's capable of. You need to end this now. I ran away as a boy. My friend and I, away from that place. We came upon a small farming community. The people were dirt poor, but this woman, she took us in. We were awakened the next morning by the shots. A dozen people lay face down in the snow. Our warden didn't like to leave witnesses. They shot the woman and her family last. They made sure that we watched the whole thing. This is your gift, the warden told us. Your gift and your curse. Touching lives only by ending them. better than anyone. Good morning, 47. The board has sanctioned Eric Soda's for termination. After Colorado, we did some digging into Soda's private affairs and discovered that he has been fast-tracked for critical heart surgery at the hyper-exclusive Gama Private Hospital in Hokkaido, Japan. Such a display of power has providence written all over it. Soda's, who suffers from a rare condition known as situs inversus, where his internal organs are reversed, desperately needs a right-sided heart transplant and has clearly betrayed the ICA to get it. He was admitted last night and is currently being prepped for a three-day surgery. We have booked you into Gama under the usual guise of Tobias Reaper, corporate shark, here for a standard medical checkup. As such, you will need to play it by ear and procure whatever tools you need to complete the mission. You also need to eliminate Yuki Yamazaki, a Tokyo lawyer who works for Providence. Sodas has already given Yamazaki access to our client records and has agreed to provide a full list of active ICA operatives post-operation. This transaction cannot be allowed to happen. Sodas must pay for his treachery and his insidious employers must be taught a lesson. ICA's sovereignty is at stake. Powerful as Providence may be, we need to draw a line in the sand. I will leave you to prepare. Welcome to Hokkaido 47. The Gama Private Hospital provides cutting edge medical treatment for the global elite outside the law if required. The facility is partially run by an artificial intelligence system known as Kai. The AI oversees patient admission to various areas in the hospital and even participates in some medical procedures. You will find Eric Soders in the operating theater undergoing a pre-surgery regenerative stem cell treatment, a highly controversial procedure yet to be approved by Japanese authorities. Yuki Yamazaki has already arrived. You'll find her in her suite or roaming the restaurant and spa areas of the hospital. Sodas is scheduled to be put under soon. Let us make sure he stays that way. Good luck, 47. Hello, Mr. Reaper. As part of the service here at Gamma, your personal robe has been outfitted with a radio frequency identification chip. The device will unlock and allow access to your personal suite. That is Yuki Yamazaki, former lawyer to the Yakuza and current operative for Providence. Konbama.
Hey, we don't want no sick people here, okay? No harm done here. Hope you have everything you need. Well, it certainly appears that Yuki Yamazaki is a fan of yoga. A schedule near the hot springs reveals that she has booked the trainer all day. Feeling flexible, 47? Ah, finally. A bit of privacy. Target down. Now it's time for Sodas to retire. Hello? Mr. Jason Portman. Please come to the Are hospital you entrance. Mentally? Are the little green A doctor will you? escort you to your checkup. That was for Sir, Mr. Out of my way. Jason Portman. A doctor will escort you to your appointment. Please proceed to the hospital entrance. Enough of the waiting game. Shut up. Your suspense is killing me. I'm going in. You need professional help, if you don't mind me saying so. Hey, you. Move, move. Not safe here. Stay clear. Nails, I, uh, need another pill. The effect is waning. This way, Doc. I'll show you where my stash is. Hey, I get it. Not an errand boy. Lead the way. Well done, 47. This should provide you with the means to get close to sodas. Is this a hospital or a resort? Hey. That is Eric Sodas, former training director at the ICA. That's both targets down. That's not what my ticket says. We received your message. Loud and clear, I might add. Honestly, you could have just sacked the poor guy. I didn't catch your name. No, you didn't. There'll be no retaliation. Not for Soders, nor any other recent fiascos. 
Someone's been meddling in our affairs, killing our operatives, and making the ICA look like fools. I think you got close to that someone, closer than we've ever been. That's why we're hiring you to take him down. I don't think so. Don't rattle our cages, Miss Burnwood. You really have no idea. You spy on us, bribe our people, and you have the gall to demand our help. No. You can't be trusted. Even so, we've been around for a long, long time. I think we could help each other. Some 20 years ago, your agency took in a young man with no past and extraordinary skills. In his own special way, he cares about you and vice versa. And ever since that time, you've never stopped wondering where he came from and who made him what he is. There was a doctor, some depraved experiment. But he's gone now. Ah. Well, if you believe the questions died with him, we have nothing further to discuss. If not, as I said, I think we could help each other. Partners, then. Cheer up, Miss Burnwood. We... <laughs> we are the lesser evil. This terrorist. He wants nothing but chaos. He's only a terrorist if you win. Miss Burnwood, we won a long time ago. This... <laughs> this is maintenance. <laughs>